Hi, my name's Ian Puddick. Um, I run the London Boiler Company. Um, I'm here at the Bosch Hydrogen for Life conference where they've just had a lively debate on heat pumps versus gas boilers or hydrogen ready gas boilers. So what is the future of your heating? We're getting lots of calls from very concerned customers that are ringing us, wanting to change their boiler. They've got a boiler that's working perfectly, it's not breaking down, but they're just panicking and they want a new boiler. So what is the, what is the right answer? Well, first of all, it's not black and white. But firstly, the legislation that you've heard, i.e. from 2035, the government's banning all gas boilers, is that gonna happen? Is there legislation for that? Is there a law saying that's gonna happen? The answer is no. It's purely a target that the government would like to achieve. Now, you know how governments work, and we're only talking about this government, we're not talking about successive or future governments, because no one knows where we're gonna be there. We're in crystal ball territory. But the reality is the government would like to ban boilers in 2035. Is it going to happen? Well, we probably both know the answer to that. So what's the solution? So the heat pump lobby are obviously working away to do their bit. And then you've got the gas lobby. But what's the magic wand? What's really going to happen? The answer isn't actually that complex. Heating your home in the future Depending on the size of your home, if it's a small one bedroom studio flat, or if you live in a large or medium sized house, uh, it's gonna be an amalgamation of different solutions. So it could be a heat pump for a smaller property, it could be electric for a smaller property, but it's more than likely with, when I say this, it's absolutely likely to be a hydrogen ready boiler. So what does a hydrogen ready boiler mean? Does that mean you're gonna start sticking 100% hydrogen through the gas pipes coming through your home into the boiler? That technology, that technology is not quite there yet. Um, and I'll tell you what's not there, more importantly than that technology, is the national infrastructure. We've got 168,000 miles of pipes throughout the whole of the UK transporting gas. Some of those pipes are plastic, some of those pipes are metal, but more importantly, no one knows where the metal pipes are because hydrogen doesn't work particularly well with steel. So what the, what's actually happening now as we speak, so this isn't a plan, there is actually a national program going throughout the whole of the UK where all of the gas network is being transferred to plastic and any of the metal is being identified and removed and replaced with plastic. So there's a Bosch boiler behind me. So this is hydrogen ready. Does that mean that we could stick 100% hydrogen into this boiler? The answer is no. But when they do start adding a hydrogen blend, so you'll still have natural, you'll still have natural gas coming into your home with anything between 15 and 20% hydrogen added to the pipe, this boiler with a very few modifications will just transfer for a, and it literally is a very a couple hundred quid if you're lucky uh, at most, just, to, just to, to update this so that it works on a hydrogen blend. What about your cooking? So behind us, We've got a, a hydrogen ready, and again, exactly the same thing. This is a hydrogen blend. So this would be natural gas coming into your home with about 15 to 20% hydrogen in there. Now there are issues because when you have hydrogen, when you light it, you can't see it. So you'll read this on the lines, oh, it's not gonna work. Well, Bosch have already overcome this, and there are diffusers built into the hob so that it will actually burn. But it'll be very, very different. With your, nat with your natural gas hob at home, it burns a nice blue color. This is gonna be an orange color. So there will be a, a learning curve for you to, 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 to grasp, but that's, that's where the future is. Now, just to make it really clear, I'm not part of Bosch, I'm not paid for this. I'm just doing this because I believe it's the right thing. And I also believe that Bosch's technology, in terms of looking at the marketplace, they're above everybody else. It's German technology. What can I say? It's always very good. <laughs> Thank you for watching.